Sagittarius. Oh, shit. <coughs> Sorry. Sagittarius. <coughs> Jesus, fuck. Hi. It's time for your mid-December to January read. For any of you who don't like curse words, since I already said that, um, I do that a lot. So you don't like it, you might want to get out. Anyway. Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no reason worrying about shit that don't matter to you or does not pertain to you or has nothing to do with your story in particular. Right? Right. Newcomers, you want a personal? Everything's in the description box below. First reads on the house. Everything else after comes with the price. Thank you very kindly in advance. Anyway, Sag, your energy, you're tired of being everybody's fucking footstool, or at least the people who keep fucking with you about it, right? You are furniture, and you are done. However, the situation's calling for a bit of mind games, right? You gotta play that game. We have your wants and wishes, which is the Ace of Wands, a brand new start to begin. To be birthed, to go through those labor pains and produce something new. The obstacle and challenge, though, is ending something, cutting it off at the source. Fears and rejections, not getting a message delivered to you. How does shit starts, how it'll end, feeling tortured and stuck in a box. Your beginning theme, Justice, Libra's Cloud. Good karma and shit like that, justified, reasonable, things like that. Happy time. Mm. Sagittarius, you're really contemplating like ending something right here where you feel like you're responsible for your own shit and you're tired of it, but it's like you're waiting to hear something that you're afraid you're not going to hear. You know, you're playing mind games to get a new beginning, but it's like you're going to remain stuck somewhere. Or somebody will remain stuck. One of the two. Sag and cross watchers alike. Let's see. So this ten of pentacles. Something isn't working the way it used to. Uh, could have a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type with their back turned, looking at it like, why is this not working? Why is this not producing the labors that I out, uh, that I had before? It's the eight. She goes to look at it, then it becomes the seven, and something didn't pay off. Or something isn't paying off the way it used to. It's kind of like someone's too used to doing shit for people. Like, you know, that's the curse of being a giving person sometimes, I think. Um, you know, when you're used to giving to people, you like it because it makes you feel good, right? But then after a while of giving, you realize people don't give to you. And then you begin to resent that shit. And it's like, why doesn't this person give to me the same way I gave to them? Because that's what you're doing. You're expecting the favor back in return, like it's a reward or something. You really should be doing it for whatever reason, queer. Right? I don't know. I have no idea who this is yet. We just started. The situation. Five of swords. Mind games, because someone doesn't know if the love is still there. They're looking, and I'm just like, it doesn't feel like love. You know, um... Uh, Things they know they're keeping to themselves at the moment. Um, but it's based on their own beliefs, which are quite childish. Which is crazy, because that's two characters are God with their backs turned. You know, like, the religious figures, the female and the male, the priestess and the priest, right? Both figureheads of the church or whatever. Or whatever religious um, archetypes you believe in. Correct? Correct. It's like they're holding on to childish beliefs. Wants and wishes. Hi, kitten. How are you? It's coming up here to get some attention, aren't you? Yes, you are. If you lay down, actually, here, bless these. Thank you. Good girl. Anyway. Ace of Wands and Wants and Wishes to birth some new beginning, right? 
Here's the King of Pentacles right here. He might be the counterpart to the Queen. Could be the same person, I'm not sure. But he's sitting there talking to his friend. His fruit is abundant, right? But trying to s begin something new with him would be like a dead relationship. You know? And plus, he's kind of blind to like the snakes. And he doesn't see danger approaching. Or if the danger isn't approaching, then it's going to cause a disaster, right? It's like not doing something is a uh, could be detrimental right here like he sees the snakes but he's too stubborn to take any action scorpio's there leo sag aries pisces taurus libra three of wands reverse and the obstacles and challenges trying to end something right Oh, double energy. Ending it because there's nothing there to wait for. Sagittarius and cross watchers alike. Um, trying to heal from a broken heart. And there's no security. It's like, um... It feels like everybody's breaking up with somebody for some reason. Or another. But it's like... Definitely wanting to separate because it did seem fruitful, but now it seems like waiting for this is not going to produce anything different. Someone wants to heal their broken heart from this, though, when they, I feel like, separate from a whole environment that isn't as giving as, um, well, I assume they assume, or whatever, right? Hmm. Eight of Wands, Reverse. A fear you're not going to get some sort of message. Sag and cross watchers alike. Like, you know, you feel like you're at the precipice of a standstill. Possibly Pisces once again. Crossroads. Time to yield or surrender something, right? But it's like someone threw justice out the window. Because they're stuck in their own little world. That's nice. That's nice. All right. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Come full circle to the cycle, the Ten of Swords. Really trapped and stuck. Like, someone can see what's popping up, and they're like, you know what, I'm not brave enough to be facing that shit, right? Uh, but at the same time, they're worried about whoever it is is outside their window. Freezing their asses off, right? As this new cycle approaches. Taking a break is justified, Sagittarius and Crosswalker. But it might feel like someone's snooping, and you might have to face somebody who you really don't want to have to deal with. But it's going to take some courage, because this was a very established relationship. But you know, someone's got to go bye bye because, uh, you know, shit's not healthy. And the person who keeps getting beaten down is just ready to charge forward and leave the situation behind. Huh. It's too much. Hmm. It's like none of this is no longer fruitful. But it's also like someone doesn't want to like admit that. Things on the fucking floor. Okay, let's see. Uh, someone might come for some secrets about why two people weren't victorious when it comes to this thing called fucking love, right? It's annoyance. And then you got four, right? Someone split, but the other person who got split on was like, nah, okay, whatever. Um, then that person wants to come back to check on them just to see if anything's changed drastically by their behavior towards this person. As if acting all gentle will cause them to be gentle back. You know, bitch brought a flower, and there's a flower at the king of wands' feet. It's amazing. You'll stay in my lap when I'm up here, but if I'm on the chair, you want to just take off because you think I'm being too loud. Kitten's still in my lap, just enjoying the lovin's. Yeah. Here, while you're blessed, these two. That's my good girls. That's my good girls. Yes. That's why you're awesome and live in my house. Yes. That's exactly why. This new purr. Sorry, guys. It's my babes. 
Anyway, well, she's my baby. We're seen as my babes. Fat cats, the babes. Anyway. The situation down below here. Everyone just wants to have a good fucking time. That's all. Everyone wants to be happy, have a good time, maybe feel a little bit free. Mm, but is that because... Like, don't let your emotions get to you a little bit. Just hug that fucking line. Embrace the shit. It might be monstrosity, but it's still your fucking line. It's still your babies. Hmm. Hmm. Like, this is like... Could be dealing with a Leo for sure. Also, that's you and Aries up there, Sagittarius. Hmm. It's like having a good time is great, but when you really think about it, all you're doing is hugging your shadow side. It doesn't really help much of anything. Up top in the wants and wishes. Nope. Someone does not want to carry this bitch's sword. Just drop him off the boat and be like, bye, Felicia. You know? Um, I don't give a fuck what's in the book. You know? Or someone's following their own version of morality. You know? Which might not be eloquently put. I'll say. Um, someone could come off like a dick. Sagittarius and Crosswatcher easily could be you, right? But I don't think so. Uh... It's like someone's totally ready to drop the sword. And someone comes back with like, well, the good book says, and, so, and then like all of a sudden he's just like, I don't care what that book says. I'm illiterate the bullshit, you know? Just, and it just causes this person just to be like, what? Uh, uh, the, 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 the. They might even body slam the fish without really thinking about it by reacting. Obstacle and challenge. Letting those feelings go. Let them go. Just, just drop that shit and be like, you know, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Might leave an empress pretty, um, distressed or whatever. But she's probably on drugs and needs to come down off that shit. Like, she'll calm down. She'll be fine. Just uh, cry it out, I feel like. And then when you're done in your misery, just wake back up to the real world with the hermit reversed. It's been a trip. Time to come back and wake the fuck up. You know? Hmm. I think you want the Sagittarius, but you're not fucking stupid. You know, you're definitely not stupid when it comes to love, and you're not allowed, about to let somebody burn you in their own fires, in your fears and rejections. You know. Because all this person could really think about is like what you can give them. Um, the wish is kind of fucked up. You know. And that's probably why you guys separate in the first place. It's just like, you're afraid that it's just going to go back to the same shit it was before. And they're going to set you on fire to train you just perfectly to be the way they want you to be. And you're afraid you just, like, I, I can't do that. I, I, I just can't. I can't let someone just fuck me up. Like, I don't care if it's a bunch of cannibals that I just happen to find in New York State Park. That's beside the point. The point is, I need to get the fuck out of here. You know? This isn't good for me. I don't think it's good for anybody, honestly. How this shit starts, how it'll end, how it'll end full cycle to the circle. Nobody is a fucking champion. Nobody. Uh, but there is a new start. Someone's getting a pet lizard and they're being taught how to take care of it. Or they weren't victorious in like getting this new start. And two more just dropped, right? Because someone found out some secrets. And... Mm, something wasn't let go of properly. Or someone found out something, and once it's revealed, it's just gonna set off their fucking emotions, and they're not gonna be able to get over the shit. Like, overly over dramatic, overly, like, not giving a shit. Like, someone's gonna be all in their feels. Sagittarius, that's what I've gotten for you so far. 
If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Up to you, of course. But, um, I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, love your guys' faces. I hope to see you soon. Take care and bye-byes.